Today's video is being sponsored by Indium91.com. Be sure to visit the website for all your graphic needs, anything from digital to physical. What's good everybody? It's your boy Nate Matthews back again with another video and today I wanted to show you guys a creative process that I've been going through right now turning an image into a card and a button and some other stuff like that. First things first I want to say that um, I am working with a new tool today which is this computer called the Samsung Notebook 9 Pro. Um, really had my eyes on this computer for a, a hot minute and I finally seen, seen it go on sale so I just picked it up. Um, it has a touch screen display 1080p display, uh, what is it, 16 gigs of RAM, um, it's got an i7 processor in it, uh, Radeon graphics, 8th um, gen uh, processor, everything like that, and it even has a stylus in it, one that you can use to draw on the screen, and it does not take batteries. Um, so I'm really loving this computer. Before I show you guys more about this computer and what we're getting ready to do, I want to show you guys some of the uh, upgrades and stuff that I did. When I first started doing graphics, this is what I started with. Well, I won't say started. We, I think we all started with that Microsoft Paint. Uh, but yeah, then I decided to upgrade. And this is... Um, I'm actually looking to sell this too if you guys are interested. It works perfectly. I just upgraded so I no longer need it. Anyways, if you guys don't know what this is, uh, I'm on the wrong side here. Boom, boom, boom. It's a tablet. It comes with a pen, which is pretty much similar to this pen right here. However, now I can draw directly on the screen versus with this. You have to draw on this pad and look at your screen, but it's still 10 times better than using a mouse. I then decided to upgrade to this computer here. Uh, this is one I did enough, some more research on. This is, I'm pretty sure you guys never heard of this either. Um, I forget, I think it was, uh, the, the popular name for it is the Cube i7. Um, but I actually got one from overseas. Uh, it's called the Citrix. You might even see another one called the Mitrix. Um, but yeah, this computer is super dope. It is Windows 10. It's a two-part computer. Um, by two-part, I mean it comes apart like, you know, the keyboard right here. And then the screen is right here. Uh, you can plug it into, you know, got HDMI, mic, you know, I'm not doing a review on the computer. Anyways, I like this computer and the reason I got this one, it was an upgrade from the uh, Intuos right here. Um, so I didn't have to draw on the pad, I can actually draw on the screen. This one also comes with a pin. Cool thing about this pin as well and this whole setup is I, this pin also works on the computer I'm using now. So I can pretty much use either of these. It's the same as uh, the S pin that's probably in some of your guys' phones. Um, but yeah, you can use this. I ain't going to turn it on right now because we ain't going to use it. But this was my graphics tablet right here and I might be selling this too. I'm for sure going to be selling for sure going to be selling this if you guys are interested just contact me in my email my links are in the description or maybe on instagram whatever whatever i prefer email though um but yeah selling this for sure might be selling this now that i got another computer that does the same thing that this did um anyways enough talking about the tools and stuff that i've used let's get right into the program now we got the program open and as y'all looking at this screen y'all probably like who is this person on the screen man this is actually my little brother man uh got a little picture of him right here and i wanted to do something real cool with it so i decided to turn it into a graphic design because i've been just dying to use this notebook 9 pro uh to see what it can really do and how it can increase my art so anyways we started off with this picture and i told you guys again this was supposed to be a speed art but i thought of the process or thought of doing a speed art when i was already in the middle of it so i said forget it but i got the process right here for you guys anyways we got the picture right here what we did is i just deleted the background from the picture and there's my little brother all cut out I threw a little, you know, silhouette in the background to darken it up and I dropped the opacity down on the image. Uh, then, you know, throw my little tag on the back, throw some color in the background and then we can begin the cool stuff. Cool stuff being um, all in one right here. We're going to go ahead and just throw the base colors on. Um, no, 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 no. We ain't about to do that. Let's do this first. We about to throw some ink on. So as you guys can see right there. There is the ink. All I did was pretty much took my uh, pen right here. It's not that hard. I shouldn't even really have to explain it, right? And I just went over the image and just traced all the outlines, you know? Traced all the outlines of where his hands, the jacket, and all that stuff like that. The folds, the creases, little bits, things like that, right? 
Um, after you do that, you can go ahead and take the image away. Now you guys can't see just yet because the silhouette is black, but there it is right there. So there's the whole outline of the image with the silhouette. And then all we did was pretty much we threw in some base colors. So this is the, all the colors that are in the picture. Um, you know, did with the skin, pants and the patch. We got the hat and the bow, t-shirt color, jacket, and then all the gold and stuff, right? Now, I do see um, a lot of people, well, I won't say a lot of people, but when you're first starting out, this is probably what most people will do and say, hey, I made a cartoon picture, like I, I'm done, perfection, right? And it is cool, but as you get more advanced and stuff like that, and you really want to uh, make your, your details a lot better, you're going to want to add more stuff to it. Um, something that I did to add more to it is actually uh, changed it from black outlines where it stands out, you know, all across the image, you know, um, I actually turned the ink to the color that is surrounding it. So there it is. So there's no more black ink now. I just still have this ink layer though, because the, uh, eyebrows I actually messed it up and put the eyebrows on like on a completely different layer. But anyways, yeah. So now I have the inking with the actual color instead of black outlines. And let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. And I'm going to zoom in using the touch features right here. And next thing you guys are going to see, we're going to zoom in probably about right there so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I have this effect I did for some spray. And I just sprayed to give the jacket and the pants some texture. As you guys can see right there, I'm going to turn it on and off. Adding some small details, right? Um, we're going to throw something in here for the effects. As you guys can see. I threw some effects on and what that did was added some little, you know, bling to the jewelry and also added some details underneath the hat and also on the bow. As you guys can see, there's stars and small details like that on and off. Right. So, well, we're not done yet. Honestly, the, the thing that makes the, um, uh, the, the image just set off the whole image guys is your shading and your lighting i'm actually going to show you guys one at a time here i'm going to turn this on and we added the lighting pretty much this is just the highlights of the image where the the sun was shining um you know it was giving some giving some feedback shining off the skin we just wanted to do some um you know special effects on that pretty much so it shows on the cartoon like it did on the real version Let's see. Actually, if we take the base colors away, you can see exactly what's going on here. Um, how it's very detailed already when it's not even finished just yet. Um, but then we add the shading and the shading right there just sets it off for me. So it's not too much that we did with it. And I was actually done with the image, right? As you guys can see, let's go back to actually should have put one on top. Matter of fact, I can't really do it just yet. But anyways, there's the background back. And this is how the image looks um, now. But I just thought I would kick it up a notch because, you know, I do got the beard gang shirt on, right? And I just wanted to see how my little brother would look with a beard. Um, since I know for sure, man, it's in his blood. I mean, I got the beard, right? So my little brother about to have a beard. So I just wanted to see what he would look like with a beard. So I went ahead and drew one on him. As you guys can see right here. Zoom in all the way. And I'm actually going to take this uh, image away again. And as you guys can see, I'm going I'm to fill it in in a second. And don't worry about this little thing right here. I was just fixing the beard and brought it up and all that stuff. But as you guys can see, there's little designs in the beard. There's some highlights over here uh, where it sh shines from the sun. Uh, little strings of hair all up and through the beard. And let's actually fill it in now. And there it is. And let's zoom out just a tiny bit just so we're still on the face and there it is man i just think that's so cool right there so that's the actual picture what he looks like he's very young by the way man don't be saying he got a baby face he is a baby he just look big but then we throw that beard on him and it just sets off the whole picture and my guy is looking real real spiffy right there jewelry shining again let's turn those effects off Turn them on. As you guys can see, every little detail with the image just sets it off that much more. Even looks like, man, 
like the details man this stuff look like 3d for real i just feel like uh i just been getting better over time and i'm still gonna keep practicing if you guys want a, a picture like turned into something uh definitely hit my email my links are always in the description i do this stuff all the time i just don't make videos about it but now that i got this the, the software to actually record my screen nice camera new laptop new setup like it's gonna be a lot easier to do and i will start maybe doing like some speed art and things like that um so be on the lookout for it uh but yeah i didn't even stop here actually let me zoom out here for a second there it is i actually took it to another level and made a card right holidays coming up man father's day to be exact but i wanted to make a more universal card so as you guys can see right here i got the two fly my guy uh card right here if you guys are interested in these cards too i'm about to throw these on the website like in a couple days uh probably by the time you guys see this video it's gonna be up um i've actually been working on samples for it already um if you guys can see this right here check out this to fly my guy already went and printed it out and then on the back it just has uh you know my logo and the website that you can contact me on to order more or to get your own custom stuff right here again this is a sample so i just did this on regular paper but when i sell them it's going to be on you know premium paper glossier and stuff like that um and as another sample versus this regular one that we got right here i do have another one on gloss but this one is just not attached to, you know, it doesn't open up. I don't know what's the best lighting. Anyways, yeah. So we got the two fly my guy. And before I actually made the two fly my guy, it actually started out saying you're the man. I was just trying to think of something um, where I can make a, a more universal type card where, you know, even after Father's Day passes, you could still buy this card, you know, for, you know, a graduation or a birthday just to say thank you or something like that. Give somebody a gift card, go get some clothes, something like that. Looking real spiffy, man. You're the man. And if you guys are also wondering why there's a cutout in here, for one, I was just doing a test. And two, I actually turned that cutout into a button. So if some of you guys don't know I do that as well. I can't even get it into place. Anyways, I cut it out and I just turned the image into a button. As you guys can see right here, it is a pinback style button. Let's see if we can zoom in even more. Let me. There it is. Check it out, man. Real shiny, real shiny. Also, this is not going to be the final version of the button too because I want to squeeze it in, like make it a little bit smaller so it fits in the button like exact and be on the lookout as well i think i'm going to make a whole separate video for this next part but the same way i can make buttons and, and you know all this type of stuff i do make patches as well and i know you guys might be on the lookout for that but i most likely will be turning this into a patch but i'm pretty sure it'll fit as a button as well let's, let's actually just do that on the other side i'm gonna show you guys how you can how you can use a uh, a button and put it on the beanie. Just a little sample and stuff of what you guys can do. If you guys are interested, you can contact me. I will draw a picture of you. You could do whatever you want with it from there, man. I could uh, put it on a card for you. I can make buttons. I got different size buttons. You guys see the embroidery machine in the back. Uh, so you guys get some patches going on. Uh, T-shirts, you know what I'm saying? Bear Gang made this T-shirt as well. Just check out the website if you guys find this video interesting, if you guys want to see more, if you guys have any questions, whether it be about uh, more questions about this computer. Uh, the, the program I'm using, by the way, I know you guys are going to ask, um, it's called Clip Studio Paint, a.k.a. Manga Studio 5. Um, it's actually, it's the same exact program, they just changed the name, but I just re-downloaded it under the Clip Studio Paint. Um, but it's exactly the same setup. You could do whatever you want in the program. You could do animations in it. Um, I haven't dabbled into animations on this program, but I do animations and stuff like that as well. Um, anyways, I don't want to ramble on too long. I'm just finally glad I got this video done. I've been trying to do it all day and some stuff was coming up. Anyways, if you guys found this video helpful, hit that thumbs up button. Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Let me know if this video helped you guys out in any way. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.